All right, today I'm gonna to show you how easy it is to take artwork off of foil cards so that you can use them for whatever you'd like. So here you see, I've taken the artwork off of this magic card, and now I can use it to write a token name on it or make a proxy of any card that I'd like. I think it really is cool when you play magic and you have these really shiny cards out on the table. All you need to do is get some nail polish remover, some cotton balls, grab a stack of some foil cards that you wanna remove the artwork from, and of course put on some gloves because the nail polish remover will dry out your hands. So I'm gonna slip those on real quick and then I'm going to grab my stack of foil cards to show you how easy it is to remove the artwork. So here we go. We're just gonna start with one at a time. I put out a rare so that you could see that the foil stamp will stay on there too. So let's put this little bit of acetone on there. You really don't need that much. I should have put it right on the cotton ball but you're just gonna rub the cotton ball right onto the card. And it's really hard to do it on video. The cool thing is if you do put a lot like that, it will evaporate very quickly. You just have to find a way to get it off the surface. Well, let's just rub the artwork off. You're just gonna do a circular motion just like that. Takes a little bit of time. You really don't need that much acetone though. Just move the cotton ball and try to get one of these other cotton balls to pick up some of that nail polish remover that I, I dropped. And you can see it starts coming off just like that. Let me get a little bit more on the cotton ball. And if you do push off, uh, push too hard, sometimes it will take the backing off and it'll take all the, fo the foil off too. And I think I put way too much nail polish remover on, on, on this card. So I think I peeled off the freaking foil layer too. So let's remove this card out of the way. And I think I like melted it onto this plastic part. Yeah, I put way too much on that one. So let's grab another card real quick. I thought it would be helpful to have it on this little tray here, but actually it's not helping a, a lot. So we're gonna take not a lot of nail polish remover. Okay, we're gonna need more than that. This was supposed to be a pretty easy video. Let me get a fresh cotton swab. Okay, little dab will do ya. And this really is harder to do on camera because <laughs> I'm trying to do it through my phone and not actually see what I'm doing. So circular motions. Try not to press too hard or you'll rub the foil layer off. You can see it's starting to come off there. That looks way better than that other card. I was trying to do the rare so that you could see the foil stamp stays on there, but I put like, I don't know, I, I guess I panicked. I put it right on the card instead of on the cotton swab. And I just put like two or three drops on this cotton swab and it's coming off nice and clean. But on that rare, I freaking threw so much on there. So this is a nice way that you can add some foil proxies or foil um, tokens onto the board. I think they are more pleasant on the eyes. It doesn't take very long to remove the layer. Um, let's put a little bit more. You really don't need that much, but it is so much harder to do on camera. I was planning on doing like three or four to show you on. Apparently it's taking a lot longer than that. But let me know what you think. Drop me a comment in the video if you're going to try this at home. And just keep circular motion. This will ruin your card, just letting you know. You'll never be able to play with whatever Thunder Strike or whatever that was again. And I've seen people that'll just take out like the picture but not the name so the name stays and then you can like draw on your own art for the 
with a picture of the card and keep like the text box the same. You just gotta have a lot of patience on how you remove the artwork off of it. And it's it's working. I'm trying not to do what I did with the other card and put way too much and then just like burn the card. <laughs> like, like I really put way too much on that first card. This pretty much works with any foil card from any set. Almost there. Yeah, and you will know you put way too much if the foil layer gets burnt off, which can happen. Feel like I just need to get a new cotton swab. Let's see here. A couple drops will do ya. Oh, and be sure you wear gloves because it will dry out your hands like a lot. I think that's kind of cool that the border stain might leave it like that with the border on it. And if you have a red token goblin or something like that and that was not an intentional result it just that's how the art buffed out I think you need like a lot more pressure for the frame to come out but I'm kind of happy with that result to tell you the truth There we go. Hey, that looks pretty good. So let me know what you think. Would you go the extra, take the extra effort in taking out the border, or would you leave the border on yourself? But I kind of like the border, the way this one turned out. It was actually pretty cool. And then you can take a sleeve, take a dry erase marker, and you can put your own artwork on it. And now I have my own angel token. So, yeah, it kind of rubbed off. I have that acetone on my glove, so I'm not surprised that that rubbed off. But you can, you know, use this as a token, or you can um, proxy whatever card you want. But you can grab a whole stack, just like I have here, and, you know, rub out all the art. Thank you so much for watching. You have a good day.